Hey guys, and welcome to Ultimate Recon Gaming here with Johnny. And today we have a different game than normal. Um, just kind of wanted to do something just a little bit different, to be honest. It's been a while since we recorded things, and so I'm going to kind of go back to the other ones and kind of just recap and see what's going on. But I wanted to get something out that was just kind of like a brand new start, brand new game for me. And Crusaders King 3 just screamed it. It's like right up our alley, <laughs> at least my alley. So this will be fun. Um, yeah, new game, single player game. Crusaders Kings 3 is a deep strategy game of dynasties and intri intrigue. Okay, if you are new to the world of Crusader Kings, we strongly recommend you play the tutorial. Forget that. Okay. Uh, throughout Europe, families fight and scheme for power. A lot of land lies disrupted or disputed as battles are won and lost, and dynasties come and go. As the rulers are outmaneuvered, kings of old are being replaced with newcomers. Reach for the stars. Which will you be? So I could be the Duke of Moonstar over there, the Duke of... Uh, uh, Bohemia over there, Duchess of, of Tuscany, Duke of Upulia, or the Duke of Toledo. Or create your own. Well, yeah, we're going to create our own. Because <laughs> why wouldn't we? Now, I just want to make sure all the levels are good before we continue. I need to really get two screens to be cool. Okay. Well, normal, of course. Click on the map to select a character to play or to create your own ruler as their replacement. So I have to replace somebody? That's kind of lame. <laughs> Put myself right here. Right in the uh, Ionian Sea. Ionian Sea. Yeah, I pronounced that totally wrong for a second there. Um, wow, this place is huge. Oh my goodness. These are empires here. We want to kind of stay away from them probably. These bigger nations. Because they will probably absolutely destroy us. So we probably want to do something like... Over here, maybe, or, um, whoa, okay, hold on, it's a cursor, that's right, um, let's see here, the, these look like they're kind of aligned, yeah, they're kind of together, that's got a lot of land, that's going to be too much to handle right now, just a lot going on right there, a lot of independent nations. Um, oh, nice. We're going to go up in our own little area. <laughs> we'll try this. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to create our own. Sorry, Jarl. Yeah, we're going to be Christianity. That'd be fun. Um, will you really go out here? Okay. Okay. North of Germanic. No. Uh... There's a lot of stuff in this. A lot of stuff. Hmm. I guess Germanic would be... Okay, so I can expand these out some more to figure out what I'm trying to find here.
Let's go with the old Saxon. First name. Well, of course it's got to be Evanor. Um... A dynasty is a group of noble descendants of a landed ancestor. The founder of the dynasty, the original house, is split into new ones, all still members of the wider dynasty. When your character unalives, you will have a player error or the game will end, though you can pick another ruler and continue playing in the same world. Much like prestige for characters, dynasties have renown. Um... Okay, um, Evnor Civil, Duke Evnor Civilwood of the Jarldom of Island. Oh yeah, we gotta fix that too. Well, that's cool, you can I randomize, okay. So it would randomize it for you, apparently. Can I do my own coat of arms and stuff? Because these coat of arms are not great. I have to randomize them apparently, dude. Okay, whatever. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Um, but I'm probably not going to get that one again. I want to get one that's like really sticks out to me here. Gotta be careful on the clicking because if I click too much, I could lose it for what I wanted, kind of thing. Is that a pig? Whoa, that's cool. Go with that. Customizations, those are always fun. Kind of like that one, but it wasn't that great, to be honest. Go with that. I think that's fair. Um, yeah, let's go with 25. That'd be fine. Customization points. The amateurish plotter has had some education in the art of intrigue, but any knowledge in the art has eluded them. Wow, likely of unliving in battle is like 100% more. Let's be gregarious, I like that idea.
be humble as well. Okay. What's some other traits? They are honored as a truly worthy of the empires of old. Kind of get the other skills going myself later. Um, you know, we're going to start the game with none because that just makes it a little more fun. Um, I think we should have. Probably. At least make those average. What's prowess do? Prowess is a secondary skill that reflects the character's aptitude in personal combat. <laughs> Stewardship is a skill that helps rulers. Oh yeah, that needs to be higher. Okay, let's change our appearance. Just really want to customize further. I like what I have, I just want to fix thing else. I'm a tall guy, so that works. Um, I really just want to fix this, yeah. Um, the Yarl style, I like that. And then, there we go, beard. We gotta have, uh, no, whoa. No, well, that's kind of cool though, because it's like what we're actually at. I like this one. Um, his eyes are off. Then he'd be deeper here. Okay, I think this is good enough. Okay. Alright. Submit that and make sure this is still running smoothly, which it is. This will probably be a longer one just because it's the first one. With no player error, we'll get the tribal going on right now. We're Catholic and Old Saxon. Okay. Alright. I, whoa, it rotates. Um, okay, let's just kind of look at some rules here. Uh, game is saved automatically. Switching characters or playing multiplayer is not allowed. Don't want to do that. Uh, achievements cannot be unlocked while playing the game. If you play single player, Iron, mode, Iron Man mode is enabled. That's fine. You will play an even playing field. Bad things can happen to you. Got it. Okay. I think we're good. 
Okay, I don't want to play as a Zerber, and I don't want a random character. Oh, I just gotta hit start. Perfecto. Okay, let's uh, let's keep moving here. I'm not too sure what's going on, but we'll do this. Shows rulers in their realms on their map. Oh, this is Iceland, isn't it? So Iceland's split. Because I'm in... Or is this all of me? Okay, where's the pause button first off? Oh, we are paused, okay. So this is the High Chieftain of Iceland. Ruler is me, so I'm in Aust I have whatever this is, Australan. I'm the holder of Nordland. So this dude has this space, and I have all of that space. Okay. Huh? Duchy rank realm. Can... County rank realm. We have more soldiers. I think we really need to take over the entire Iceland first, then. That this needs to be a, a thing. So. Okay. Of House of Adi, which the dynasty head is this guy. It's 42 renown. Children are born with uh, whatever that is. Next level is insignificant. Gives you nothing. A plus 10 lane long reign up in uh, um, a pink. Living members is two. Uh, must be his son, I'm guessing. Okay. What's my standing with this guy? A title is essentially a certificate of land of ownership. The smallest unit of land on the map is the barony. Barons are organized into larger areas called counties. Counties de Euro belong to duchy, duchies to a kingdom, and kingdom to an empire. So empire, kingdom, duchies, counties, and barony, barons. So barons, counties, Dutch, barons, counties, duchies, kingdoms, and empires. Duchies, kingdoms, and empires do not always have a holder, but are titles that can be created by a ruler who controls enough of the corresponding territory. He is chiefdom. Who he's actually part of me. He's my chancellor and vassal primary title. So he's actually part of my land, actually. Okay. Can I move this at all? Okay. Because he's my... I'm going to keep him pinned. 
Now this is me. Can I pull him back up? Man, he's got 984412. 984412. 984412. So he's smaller and everything except for this one. Um where he has 12 and learning. So I'm the Hive Chiefdom of Iceland, the Chiefdom of Australand, and the Chiefdom of Norland. Okay. Everyone else is lowborn. What's up with this guy? Bishop Stigan the Vol okay. Um yo, you're the only living member. Canterbury. So you're pretty much part of my crew here. And watch your people here again. In your court. All yours is low court too. Okay, perfect. Want to make sure we aren't going to have somebody that's going to be a little um, antsy to get their hands on stuff, on uh, taking some stuff from us. Don't want that. Shows the face. Um, Insular. Not sure what that means. So, oh, okay. So like monks, gotcha. Man, this Asari is like everywhere. Tingri is pretty big too. Catholic is the biggest thing though. It's all right here. Pretty centralized to the one location. There's Orthodox over here. Okay. So there's the duchies. A lot of stuff. The kingdom titles. So we actually fall under Norway. Which is all of this. Well, that's an issue. I don't want to be under at Norway. So how do I fix that? King Harold, huh? Fourth. So I have to essentially So he, he's got um, some issues for me here. So we fall under Norway, so we got to kind of help them for the most part. Oh, we actually fall under Scandinavia too. Okay. That's weird. Russia's right here instead of... Okay, whatever. Um, so that means Scandinavia, okay, so I'm, I'm, I, as the Empire of Scandinavia, then, uh, the Norway, and then Dutchy were Iceland, and one of the realms, the realm shows Iceland and Norway, so the realm shows more kingdom titles, pretty much, okay. And then by face, cultures, or Norse, and houses, silver voice is first one pops up. That's good. Okay. We could go a little bit further now, but I don't really want to. 
Um, so these guys are really probably going to be our issue here. Is this spot here? Good old Scotland. So if we take over Scotland, England, and Munster, we can try to claim Norway as our own. But getting over there is pretty much going to be key. Um, okay. Want to learn more, uh, some terms in the game? Open this for introduction to Encyclopedia. No player error, no lifestyle chosen. Focus on understanding people and their motives, how to handle other realms, and how to win the unwavering loyalty of your subjects. Focus on control of your realm, honorable conduct, and the strategies that will win your wars. Focus on the manipulation of people, the nat nature of secrets, and the cunning blocks that will bring your plans to fru fruition. We'll focus on this. The realm of knowledge and divinity lie within your gasp, as well as the secrets to life itself. Um, they're probably telling. So we'll go to we'll go diplomacy for the most part. Um. Focusing, uh, focus on understanding people and their motives, how to handle the other realms, and how to win on the wavering loyalties of your subjects. One can never have too many friends, plus three to ball, and 25 per month, or 25 per month either way, but fertility, ooh, okay, or diplomacy plus two. Prestige, okay, prestige represents a character's fame and social standing. Prestige can be spent on various worldly matters depending on government form, doctrines, etc. Every time character gains prestige, they also progress toward the next level of fame. Okay. Do I go... I'm gonna go family focus just because that's who he is. Okay. Um... Got that handled. Okay, I got three points. Uh, enables the fabricate hook scheme. Find secrets may also fabricate hooks. Like weeds in a garden. So a suction scheme, fertility. We torture someone. Prowess. Dread gang plus 30. There's a measure of how I fear. Oh, I don't want to do that. The scheme of power. Uh, the scheme power of scheme. <laughs> affects how it quickly progresses. The scheme resistance of scheme targets. Is given. Scheme power is increased by skill. The schemer. Their agents of their spy masters. Uh, against own courtiers and guests, moves your attraction abilities and s let's do that for now. Okay, and then. Okay, let's go find someone suitable for ourselves. This is all just the basic stuff. Um, we may look for children will be born into their mother's house instead of their father's. Uh, don't want that. Um,
here's what we want. Opinion of me. We want it to be high. A glutton, huh? It's all right. We want to take out the Scots, anyways. Um, she likes battlements. Patience. Her intrigue is down. She's gregarious like me, that's dangerous. A lot of lowborns like me, which could be good, but also problematic. Um, what if I did? Um, high diplomacy. Oh, this is my courtier. That's funny. She doesn't. My courtier doesn't like me. She's Norse, so she could be really helpful, actually. She's also a lunatic, though. So never mind. Um, Norwegian could be helpful too. A lot of the Norse don't like me for some reason. Okay. Hmm. She's okay. Um. Sorry, guys. This is taking a while. I'm just really getting to the thought of who is probably best. Now, if I do it by relevance, that's who they think. It's probably her. Because this was set up with um, this guy, but I don't think I really want to. I could go with the Irish. Um, that's also what I think I'm going to do. Opinion on me. And there was that one that really stuck out. And I think that's the one I'm going to go with.
and that's going to be this one right here. Sure, this marriage will be born into a house silverwood, chance of children medium, no inherent traits. High chieftain gets negative 200. That's fine. I'm a different kind of person. A hook is generally a term for a relationship between characters where one can get the other to do their will. There are two types, weak hooks and strong hooks, which are acquired in different ways. Hooks can be used to force through many force through many interactions, for example, marriage proposals and feudal contract changes. Let's do this. I think this will work out pretty well. Did that work? We don't know yet. Arrange a marriage. We're just working on that. Apparently, they're stressed. Oh my gosh. You have to wait five years to change your focus. Wow. Crazy. Okay, wow, there's a lot of game terms on this. Wow, okay. Here's the biggest question. Where's the play button? Is it just, yep, okay. Just a space bar. To the charming Evnor, I, or your sir, gladly accept your hand. May God grant us long life and many children, my charming. Yay! Hi, Chief Arsta of Iceland. Uh, your high chief is now only because you married me. But that's okay. Made her even higher. She doesn't like the culture group, but it's okay. Let's get down to business, shall we? With my marriage to high chiefess, yes, sir, the realm expects us to throw a suitable extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty. As part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Of course, I will collect who pays for their own wedding. Normal people? Or, ooh, I really need this. Hopefully it doesn't come and bite me in the butt. I have 300 rares, but okay, hold on. This is a suggestion. Increase Canterbury's opinion of you. Your bishop has a low opinion of you. Increasing it with a personal scheme will make your life easier. Uh, if scheme is successful, opinion will increase by 25. It has 88% chance to do it. Uh, every month there is a chance of 95% progress based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. We had an 88% chance, we might as well start it. Current situation. Your bishop does not endorse you. You can declare war on a King Harold. We ain't ready for that yet. Gotta get the bishop to like me. Uh, few champions. You do not have the maximum number of champions employed. What well, is not necessary to have a maximum amount of champions? A champion will, with high prowess will make a large difference in battles. Gain more. Gain more and champions by either recruiting existing guests at your court or send out the world word that you're looking for champions.
So this guy is not a high opinion of me. He's my champion. This guy really not an opinion. Whew. He's a champion. This guy's my champion vassal and chancellor. He's got a low opinion of me too. We gotta fix that. This guy really likes me. This guy not so much and he's uh, will may never join your armies as a champion. This keeps him from safe from unliving a battle. Well, let's go ahead and recruit him. Uh, I pay three to him. Hmm, we're not ready for that. He ain't that good. How do I... Okay. How do I go about... Uh... How do I go about getting family? Okay, how do I go about with the scheme to make this guy like me a little bit better, especially his son? Theology focused, huh? How do I get you to like me better? Hmm. Good question. Okay. Okay, let time go by. And actually... Yeah, we'll pause it here because this is going to be a longer, a longer episode if we did that. Um, this will list really give me at least a little bit of break, and then we'll pick back up next week with another episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Recon Gaming over and out.